you mentioned something important there and that's that you do it as by yourself you're you're yes. one you're you say you were a one-man band and i think that's yep. pretty important because most of our listeners are our real estate agents and mm-hmm. maybe you know for them content and you know if they're doing a podcast or they're doing youtube or social media whatever they may be doing it's mm-hmm. not like it, it you know, it's not their main business, right? They're not yep. trying to be, you know, Logan Paul and be an influencer, right? They're, <laughs> right? They're, they're just using it to, to market themselves. So a lot of them are, mm-hmm. you know, like you said, they're, they're doing it by themselves. Yep. So maybe this is going to lead into a, like a way longer discuss, discussion with a lot more questions, but, um, yep. you know, h- how are you doing this, you know, on your own? And I think, you know, you also have a full-time job as well. So how are you doing this on your own by yourself, doing the quality of content that you're currently doing right now? Yeah, so I think the, um, the, the, the most basic thing from the foundation, right, is this thing here, mm-hmm. the cell phone thing that all of us, real estate agents specifically, will have about five of these most days. <laughs> this thing does amazing stuff. If you've got one of the latest versions of an uh, iPhone or Samsung, so two years or uh, less, so anything from a sort of Note 10 or S10 or an, any of the new iPhones, the technology that exists within this is exceptional. Um, anyone that's listening or watching at the moment and goes over to uh, my Instagram at the moment or my TikTok or even on YouTube shorts, all the reels or the, all the short form portrait content that I've done in the last sort of 30 days, all been done with a cell phone. They've all been done with a cell phone. So yes, it's not 100% crystal clear as a professional camera, but it's pretty good compared to um, other content that's out there. And I did it literally with my cell phone, no lapel mics. Um, I've just set up with a basic light that I have in front of me at the moment. And I set there and I put in there and I put in the content. So how to do it, you just need a few simple things, a cell phone that you really have and pretty much a, a good source of lights. A real estate agent, you guys are outside all the time. You've got, you know, the natural light, you're at the property, you got all those sort of key details in there. Um, so, just have that understanding. Don't think it's you've got to be too big and too massive. Yes, in some spaces in the real estate game, people have uh, professional teams to come in and to do the houses. But there's something we're forgetting in the real estate game. I use real estate agents, not because necessarily the house that they show, but because who the real estate agent is, right? I use the real estate agents or I use the people in my property space because of who they are and what they can do. So building up what they are and what they can do is more important to me than what the house they can show. I don't care that they can show me a $5 million house or a $10 million house. I just care about what their knowledge is and what they can what they can understand and show to the market space. So for the real estate agents, what I mean by that is we see a lot of real estate agents in the game being the stock standard um, way of, hey, here's a listing, here's a photo, or here's a video, and here's the text about it and the details about it, contact me if you want to learn more. And it's like, okay, cool, I could just go on to, um, in New Zealand, it's, it's called Trade Me, I can go in America, whatever you guys sell your real estate through, realestate.com or whatever, and I can find property that way. What, why am I going to come to you? And where the difference is, is the real estate agents that um, are pushing the stuff of showing themselves and showing themselves, not just them in front of the property, but showing themselves about knowledge, understanding, insights, and tips um, that people go, great. Um, I can see Kobe understands this. Kobe understands what's going on in the market at the moment. And then it's as simple as, is what has happened the last two weeks in the property market that I should be paying attention to? What should I come out on my social media, take my phone, sit in a car, I don't care, and go, hey, everyone out there, there's just been a new uh, legislation released by the government. This is what it means. And this is the impact to you as an investor or first-time buyer. Just thought I'd let you know, if you want any more clarity, reach out to me and we can have a discussion about it. Now, that to me as a potential buyer is important because it goes, cool, you understand the market and you provided me information. And I think that's something where uh, even in the Zilla market, I mean, because I'm in the property game, 90% of my my, my social following and people that I go follow are in that space and maybe 10% of them are providing um, um, education over just static knowledge about property uh, and the imagery. Because um, fundamentally, no matter where we go as humans, we want to be entertained or we want to be educated, right? So if you go and show content, a house, four bedroom, that's the stuff, Bowman, that's just not educated 
and not entertain. It's just sitting there. So I will go there once you educate me and see that I'm getting the right education. Then I'll be interested in that. But you've got to edit, um, educate me or entertain me. So that's why if you look at a big person like Grant Cardone in the US space, obviously, Kobe, you're well aware of, uh, of, um, of Grant Cardone, right? He does both. He entertains his ridiculous stories and his jets and talking about how he got away with the IRS with, what is this, $40 million by buying a jet. And his, and his always crazy stories. That's the entertainment. But fundamentally, he still brings the education into it. He still tells you how to get away uh, from the tax obligations legally, how to buy more doors, how to change that stuff out there. Uh, and that's why people consume the content and then they'll go, cool, he knows the knowledge. I want to know or want to learn more from it. So when he puts something up, people go, go, sweet, I want to look at this potential to invest and so forth. 